trying to give this a go. <laughs> it's cold outside, but we have to push on forward. Uh, we've got our tea ready. No, oh, that's not going to work. That's okay. I think I've got a funnel over here. So I will show you what I'm using to filter this tea. Um, cause I want larger kind of, I just want to catch the larger debris, but this is a, what's called a milk filter. So it's a six and a half inch disc, um, milk filter for filtering milk. Um, and then I had the funnel. There was a white one just right here. Wouldn't you know it? Oh, I put it here so that we would have it in place. <laughs> Ta-da, milk filter. All right, now all I have is this 55 gallon bucket here, but I didn't fill it all the way. I brought this tea in. It's brewing out there outdoors. And, okay, oh, this is gonna go bad. This is gonna go really, really bad. You know what I usually, put on here is I usually put a, um, for crying out loud, I usually put a, um, clothespin. I'm just going to use this to scoop out some water. So I'm not going to be scooping out a large amount. And then we will filter a little bit. Oh, it's working. We have a tea first time ever. Now, I don't like that. See how the filter's plugging? Um, this may be a little fine for what I should be doing. Uh, let me get this piece of um, cheesecloth over here. I've used it to filter something else, but there's still parts here that are decent enough so the milk filter is not going to work you see how that just clogs up right away that's what i was talking about when you guys are working on these amendments uh why i use the uh european night crawler um castings they're larger so they didn't feel like they would make as much of a small debris that would clog filters um, so we gotta hash that out. Alright, this is gonna do the job. See, we're filling down there, and then we're not, you know, our bacteria is getting through there, but yeah, our larger stuff is staying out. Well, there's just some leaves and stuff there. So then we're gonna try this on some house plants. I'm not gonna be putting this one in the stand yet. We gotta make sure we don't kill plants first. <laughs> We did look at it under the microscope. We've got some fungal spores that are starting to sprout or germinate or whatever you want to call that. So there is our reverse woohoo tea. So if y'all are strong enough to just get started on that and offer your worm teas, go for it. Um, I'm still doing my research on that. <laughs> anyway, woohoo, that's one big accomplishment. I've got labels, but this one's not going to um, go out for people at this moment. So I'm going to use it on my house plants. We'll see what happens. Now, the next thing, my next big advancement that I want to do, that I wanted to bring y'all along with me. Look what showed up in the mail this weekend. <laughs> These are my biochar bags. Look, it's got the little window in it. Two, three sizes I got. For I've got the different size sifts, see? And then this bigger one for bigger chunks. And what I want to do now, I mean, I'm going to probably offer some as just char without being inoculated. Because maybe somebody else wants to inoculate it with something different than what I have, possibly. Or use it for, I don't know what. But anyway, it's it's there. It can be done. So, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, Y'all can just come like right here along with me. Let's get our biochar up here. <laughs> in our little bag one step further one step more in the right direction that's all we got to do um let me just show you this size biochar this is what comes through the 1 8 screening Here's what comes through the 112th. This is like sand. It's just teeny tiny small particles. 
I don't think I'm going to inoculate it. I think I'm going to run these this through the worm bins um, as a pH balancer, possibly in um, a grit for them. But here is the biochar. It does have a few pieces that are not completely charred. I don't know how you're ever going to overcome that, uh, especially if you're doing it just the way I do it. It's just, it's a good way, but still the leaves blow in there and stuff like that. Now I probably should weigh it, but right now I'm just going to try to fill the bag with the char. So we at least filled the window so they can see what size that char is. I can also go ahead and get you on out the scale. Let's just leave the scale over here plugged in. I'll turn it on. Okay, so it's zero out. And I'll just show you over here. Y'all don't need to see the buttons, but sit by the pound. Well, we'll see how much fits in there. So 4.8. So this is going to be a half a pound of char. I don't know what I should sell. Half a pound of char for, but oh, there's 5.0. You can always just add a little bit, a dash more, so nobody can say we chinsed them. All right. Oh, wait, that bucket was doing something there. Oh, come on. Zero. There we go. Well, I don't know why it's not zeroing out the them thing. Let's go half. Go zero. I don't know how to do it now. I'm trying to zero it and it won't zero. It won't even tear out the weight that it is now. So. I'll turn it off and we'll turn it back on. Anyway, we do have one bag of bile toe there. And then we have different sizes and that's what the different bags are for. That's not the, this video is really about, um, I've got this bucket. So here's one. I'm going to give this a shot. I'm going to take this char. I'm not going to weigh it or anything. Just gonna do I think I know what I'm doing? No. <laughs> just gonna add. Uh oh, that's maybe too much. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just me. Uh, it's probably not too much since this adds a lot of volume. And um, so <clears throat> what I want to do now, yeah, you can see in the bucket, right? I am gonna just pour this tea in here. So this is going to inoculate that biochar. I'm just going to pour it all in there. All right. Yeah, that was good. Okay, I'm going to use that trusty spoon again if I can find it. Oh, my nematode spoon went missing. Oh, I took it back there to the casting. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add some more because it's floating one and two. Uh, that's going to volume add volume okay so here we go now how am i going to i will have to let that all soak in there i guess is the point ah yeah it's soaking it in good so i'm just kind of tapping it down and i'm gonna assume it's just gonna suck it right on up in there i've never inoculated biochar before so I just want it good and covered. I um, got about an inch of space there, so I think what I'm wanting is just to have it so that it's completely packed, and then um, hopefully over time what that'll do, that biotar should suck in all that moisture, and then what I'll do is I'll put it in a um, tub like this, maybe a bigger tub, or even out on a piece of plastic, spread it all out so that it maybe dries a little before I bag that. Oh, this is all new to me. We'll find out. You guys, thanks for taking this journey and fighting this fear right along with me. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen here. 
I don't see that it's really soaking up water very fast. Um, I don't want it to go anaerobic, so um, maybe we'll just set it here for a little bit and see what happens. I'll come back and check it. So there are three huge steps I've taken. We got our biochar here. Let's turn this back on so we can weigh it properly and see if, yes, it will, does seem to want to shut easy enough. All right, so we'll pull this over. Oh, it's got little uh, pre, um, looks like pre, I'm only going to probably do it one time. That's good. scored I guess you would call it. All right. Five is 0.54. I'm happy with that. Um, and then we'll just have the other sizes which I have in a tub over there and over there and we'll just put them in the different size bag. That's just char. That's all it is. Charcoal. And then uh, you can add that to your plants anyway. I mean just Vermiculite doesn't have anything incorporated in it, or perlite, perlite, I should have said, um, doesn't have anything incorporated with it, and you add that to your soil, so to make it aerobic, so you could obviously do this as well, it's just that we're taking it one step further with here, and we're going to go ahead and inoculate that. Now, I'm going to say the reason you would want to buy your own jar, if you're somebody that's, you know, really a guru into this, is different houseplants require, you know, you've got your vine type houseplants, they would require a fungal dominant. Um, so I suppose what I would have to do is fungal dominant tea inoculated. Write that on here on the biochar that it is inoculated with fungal dominant. Um, micro uh, instead of just uh, bacterial dominant. And then you would have some plants that would like it more bacterial dominant. I don't know what cactus is like. But I'm going to assume since they're out in the desert where the hot sun and dry. Da, 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 I think that's probably more of a... Um, bacterial dominant soil sand like that than what um a fungal dominant substrate would be like um where there would be a lot of leaves and carbon stuff for them to feed off of don't know just guessing from what knowledge i got in the back of my head but so char in case somebody doesn't trust that my skills are uh accurate enough to do the fungal to bacterial you know um more fungal dominant than bacterial dominant but also then in the future i would do a fungal dominant tea and inoculate the char with that so that it could be a fungal dominant then i would have a one-to-one -one ratio where it's you know the same either way bacterial fungal and then one that's bacterial dominant in inoculated and then <laughs> Somebody's going to have to know what to do with each one of those. That's not my job. Except for if y'all want me teaching everybody what all the different... <laughs> I suppose I could do a video teaching everybody why you want the different fungal and bacterial ratios to add to amend to your different soils in your houseplants. If you're using it for that. Or if you're putting it in your garden. Or where you're going to be using this product. <laughs> so we'll know. We're going to have all this. And people are all like, my brain hurts. I don't even want to think that far. But you have to. You're not going to do yourself any good if you don't. Oh, this feels like it's maybe soaking some of this up. Sure isn't soaking it up very fast, though. <laughs> um, so I'll continue to turn it, too, to make sure that we keep it aerobic. And um, once we get all that bacteria incorporated in there... Um, I suppose we could smash a piece and look at it under the microscope. Now, I can go and get you. I will do that right now. It needs done. I did it this morning, but didn't do a video. So, I will go and get a sample of the tea that I just used. It's still out there. And then we will assess it under the microscope. And we'll put the video at the end like we did um, with the other videos. As well. The other one with the um, beginning tea. Time, um, 10 minutes after I extracted now it's been as a tea, and so we will write down time being a tea. And um, here's the deal with this. Don't confuse what I'm doing here now with anything related to um, the Soil Food Web School's 
program who does not like doing like the essential microbes and stuff like that because this summer when I was just playing around I made those essential microbes oh did they stink but I added them to this tea um thought what the heck you know because I don't know what I'm doing anyway I'm not certified with the uh food web as far as a um C um TP, which is a um certified um what is it it's a no there's there's a couple of them um consultant the consultant training program I'm not certified through that yet so i'm still playing around with all this stuff but i got to be able to do that so when i look at it under the microscope i'll see what's right and then i'll know what's wrong and then i'll make my decision of what i feel is working best for me and my um farm or whatever you want to call it garden my microbial farm um so don't stop yet go ahead and keep watching we'll put the um end what's in the um tea in the video where we are inoculating these chars so stay tuned everyone keep fighting your fears keep pushing forward um and uh stay healthy stay safe and i hope to see you back at the carbon flip make sure you let me know that you hung out with me today